Hi YouTube. Let me first start off by saying it's freezing in here. It was uh, 9 degrees this morning when I walked into the shop, so it's a little chilly. Got the heater on, uh, but that's going to take a little while. Um, today we're going to try to make a dovetail joint using the table saw. Um, some of you may, who have been following along, may be asking yourself, why am I so obsessed with dovetail joints? Um, it's not that I'm obsessed. Um, here, let me just show you. Okay, this right here is several hundred dollars worth of oak. I plan to make a dresser drawer for my little princess. And on the drawers, I want to use dovetail joints. So I want to make sure I get it right. Now, um, my first video on the dovetails, I was going over a Christmas present that my wife got me. And it's the Porter Cable Dovetail Jig. This thing's great. It's easy to use and it's easy to make dovetails. Okay. Um, my only complaint, not with the jig, but with, with the dovetails themselves, it, they just look too manufactured. It looks like a robot made them. And um, you know, the, uh, the dovetails and the, the pins, they, you know, there's no creativity, I guess. Uh, you could tell that a, a jig uh, was used to make these. Um, my next video was yet another um, Christmas present from my wife. Uh, this past Christmas I got these uh, David Barron uh, dovetail guides. And I did, I attempted to hand cut some dovetails. And they came out okay. Uh, they came out okay for my first attempt. Um, you know, think of, you know, like anything, the more you do it, the better at it you become. And something like uh, cut, hand cutting dovetails, that's going to take hundreds of hours uh, of, ex of time to, to kind of get it down. Uh, I don't have that right now. So I'm trying to find an easy fix. Um, and, you know, again, this is all about aesthetics. I, I think that the hand cut dovetails, they look, they look beautiful. That's what I would like to have on the dresser drawer I'm going to build. Uh, but again, I don't have that experience. So I'm going to attempt to, to make a dovetail joint using the table saw. I don't know how it's going to come out. I don't know what it's going to look like, but we're going to, let's do this together and find out. Okay. Okay, as we've done in the past, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, find the depth of the pin board. Use my marking gauge here. And what you do is you loosen this little nut right here, and then you move this to the edge until the cutter head falls and hits your uh, tailpiece right like that. And you tighten up the nut. Okay. This is exactly the distance of your pin board. And now I'm going to want to transfer that onto my tail board. And on the tail board, you want to make sure you transfer that mark on all four sides, all right, including the edges here. You don't, you don't have to mark this at home, it's just for the video it comes out better if I took my little mechanical pencil and darkened in the, uh, the edge. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and lay out our dovetails on the tailboard. So this piece here is um, 4 inches and 9 sixteenths, so half of that is... Um, Two inches and nine thirty seconds. So let's see here. One, two. 
it looks about right. Again, because these are hand cut, uh, you it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Uh, just as long as you transfer everything to your pin board, then you're fine. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to transfer this angle of the dovetail. I'm going to do that using this uh, T bevel. I'm going to find the exact angle that we marked here. And this is probably one of the more crucial steps. Okay, here is my angle, and if I did everything correctly, it should be a 1 to 7. Okay, now that we have our dovetail uh, laid out on our, on our uh, tailboard, um, what I've done here is I've just attached a fence, a tall fence, to my table saw miter gauge. Uh, I just did this. Um, this is a, a piece of three quarter inch plywood and underneath it is a piece of half inch plywood held together with some screws and you screw it into the back of your miter gauge. Okay now that I've transferred the dovetail angle to my T bevel I have to now adjust my blade to that same angle so we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, that's looking pretty darn good right there. You want to make sure when you're when you're changing the angle of your blade that it's not resting on a tooth. You want it in between the teeth. So I think that's what we got right here. Okay. We still want to hang on to this to this angle because we're going to need it later for our pins. Okay. Okay. So the first thing. One of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to cut a kerf into my fence here right now. This is going to do two things. It's going to give me the angle of the of of my blade so I could see it in relation to the piece that I'm going to cut. Make sure that I'm on the right line. Okay, you can see the curve that I just cut here, okay? And what's important is, why it's important to have this bottom piece here so you can see this curve and see where the blade is going to be going. Now, if I were to take this piece and send it on through, okay, that's going to cut right into my dovetail. And I don't want to, or into my, yeah, my dovetail. And I don't want to do that. So what you're going to see, I want to be on this side right like that that's where I want to be so that when I go through it's going to be cutting out this waste area right here and that's what I want I'm going to bring the blade up just a bit Okay, so as you can see, 
we have cut at the appropriate angle and at the appropriate height for that first pass. Okay, next step is we're just going to flip this to get the mirror image. And here we go. Okay, now we're going to move this over. And rinse and repeat. Okay, so now that we have our, our uh, outlines essentially cut for us, um, we are going to go ahead and we are just going to dog out the material here, uh, just making several passes. Okay, the next step is uh, I'm going to take my chisel and just clean up the, the bits in here. Um, it, it's not going to be 100% perfect using it on the table saw unless you get a table saw dovetail blade which is about 150 bucks. So. Okay, now that we have the tails all cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and transfer these, the angles onto our pin board. And just like what we did with the tail board, we have to measure the thickness of the tail board and transfer it to the pin board. And we're going to do that with our marking gauge again. But on the pin board, we only need to mark on the two long, on the two sides, two long sides, not, not the edges here. Okay. Now let's just Yeah. 
I don't know if you can see that. It's not showing up that well. Uh, but those are the marks there. And this is for the pin boards. So again, we want to get rid of this material. Right in here. Just the opposite of what we did with the tailboard here. So let's get started on that now. Okay, so we're done with the tailboard. Uh, this is the, of course, the fence uh, I used for the tailboard, and we cut our kerf in here. You don't want to use the same fence for your pin board. So I made up another pin board. We're going to go ahead and take this one off and put this one on. Just take a couple of, take a minute or two. Also, when we're cutting the pin boards, no longer do we have to have our uh, blade angled uh, to the angle of the dovetail. So we're going to go ahead and make the, this 90 degrees again. Oops. your miter gauge to the angle that you transferred onto your T-bevel, onto this T-bevel from earlier. Alright, that looks like a winner right there. And again, we're going to want to cut a kerf. Okay, so just like before, um, we have the uh, this uh, block that's uh, attached to the fence, and here's the the pin board. And again, we are going to want to be on this side of this line. We want to keep this, and we want to get rid of this uh, material in between. So right now we're just going to adjust the height of the, uh, of the cut. Alright, we are at the appropriate height and we're just going to go ahead and uh, take out this material. Okay, we're done making the three cuts at this angle. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our T-bevel and we're going to slide it up here for the opposite angle. See if this thing fits together. Okay. Uh. 
Oops. Try this way. There we go. Um. Well, I gotta say, it looks pretty good. <laughs> At least according to me. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but it's it's tighter than my hand cut one. Let's see what this. Oh, this is square too. All right. Um, like I said, this is a, it's, it's pretty tight. I'm actually really excited about this. Um, and again, one thing I, that I love about the hand cut, I don't know if you could see this. Of course, I could, you know, I, I picked it out. These two tails are not, they're not identical. Uh, this one's a little, little shorter than this one and um, and again that's okay and same with the pin this this pin is a little wider than this pin here and that's okay because to me <laughs> you know you, you could you could spot that a mile away and say hey that's hand cut and this is kind of kind of what I'm looking for a little bit uh, so I'm I'm extremely pleased right now I, I actually didn't think it was gonna go um, this smoothly but um, my my confidence in the dovetails going forward is, is uh, increased exponentially so there you have it YouTube um, again I'm extremely pleased with the uh, table saw to cut my dovetails um, I you know, it's it's not quicker than a jig, but I don't know if you look at it aesthetically. I think it's it's much more pleasing uh, to the eye, at least for me. It's my opinion. Um, so I'm I'm super excited about this, and it's given me uh, my confidence has increased exponentially going forward to build uh, the dresser drawers for my for my little girl. So. Um, as always guys, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully it'll be the um, dresser drawers. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye.